So now that we have the simulator working, we're going to change this start and light to a start stop latching circuit. So you can go ahead and leave the start uh, bool there. We're going to go and add another normally open contact right below it to confirm that. And then we're also going to add another coil right here as well as we will make this start and the coil below it in parallel and now we can go ahead that will be our start button this will be our stop button our normally closed stop button create a variable for it so this will be a normally closed stop button this will be a normally open start push button this will be the latch for the light so we could use that same you go ahead and hit these three dots here and we can go and pick that light variable. This will be the latch for the light and hit OK. And now that our um, logic is done, we can go ahead and hit build, build all of our changes. And go online with it. We want to add the stop variable to this animation table as well. Typically your stop buttons are normally closed so this needs to be satisfied for the circuit to work so we're going to go ahead and hit modification and make sure that the stop button is satisfied. You'll see that it's green up top here to prove that it is satisfied. So now we could go ahead and hit the start button. Typically it's a push button so it'll just be momentary so we can turn it back off. You could see your start button is off but it is latched through this holding contact here so you could go ahead if the stop button were to drop out obviously the circuit would stop and then you need to hit the start button again to turn it back on so that's the so that's how to create a start stop latching circuit in ladder logic